And in this video, we will see the operation of TI make primary injection test set 200 ampere three phase unbalanced type. The instrument enclosure is MS powder coated type, hence, it is rudge in design. Here it comes control panel by opening butterfly type two locks. And now you can see why we call it unbalanced type. Because it is three phases, but all three phases could be individually controlled without interrupting other phase. Output terminals of the instrument are also individual for all three phases. Now, let's see basic view of control panel. There is one MCB four port for main input. There are three indicators of three phases which indicates input supply is on. There is one multifunction meter for indication of output ampere, two push buttons for test on and off and same as two indicators to indicate whether output is on or off. Green for output on and red for output off. Now we discuss about accessories. There is one three meter long mains prop and three set of five meter long output high current lead. Input mains prop is four core wire and as per their color, we need to feed input supply as R, Y, B and neutral at open end and plug to be inserted in socket mounted on instrument's control panel. Now, for demonstration, we will use set of output high current lead to draw output current. But, we will use only one wire from set. We will shorten both output terminal of each individual phase. Means R to R shorted, Y to Y and B to B. Now, we will make the mains on by operating MCB mounted on instrument control panel. See, we got the mains input and all phases indicators glow. Panel meters oxygen supply also switch on. Now we need to make sure that meters display should be tuned to ampere only. If it is not, then press A button on meters panel and immediately we will got the meters display tuned to ampere for all phases on same screen simultaneously. As we are First time operating the instrument, we will operate it from minimum position of ampere. So we will ensure that all three phases variate position is at minimum side. After ensuring minimum position, press test on green button and sudden output will be switch on. For trial purpose, we will increase any of phase, let move to our phase. You can see by rotating knob of R phase variate to clockwise, the output of R phase is increasing gradually. Let's do some reference. We will cross check the panel meter with live testing at output lead by inserting a clamp meter. You can see both readings are almost same. Now move on to Y phase. Increase ampere of Y phase and which will not affect R phase ampere as well B phase ampere. Same as if we change ampere of B phase will not affect R or Y phase ampere. This is called unbalanced type test set. In this manner we could feed any desired ampere to any of phase individually. Now we will discuss about output impedance of the circuit. We had connected 50 square mm copper flexible wire as output wire and also we supplied the same wire as output lead of length 5 meter with the instrument. Here output impedance is much low and hence with minimum position of variate it shows some ampere at output side because variate at minimum position gives 2 to 3 voltages and that voltages at variate output excites the loading transformer which results few ampere at minimum position. Suppose we do want to start from almost zero, then we prefer that output lead should be of some high impedance. Means do not use 50 square mm, use 10 square mm or thinner than that would be preferable. But make sure that wire should fulfill your final highest output current requirement. For example, if at output side, we want to draw 25 amperes, 
then 4 square mm wire is suggested. If full 200 ampere current is required, then only 50 square mm wire should be used. Once we use the instrument, output leads might possibly get heated as we use it as short circuit leads. So after test completion, need to assure that output test leads must not be overheated. Once it cools down at ambient temperature, then only restore the leads. Hope this video was helpful. If found any query, please feel free to contact us. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time ahead.